everybody and welcome to Totally Trendy. Hi, <laughs> my name is Sam and today we are talking about one of the most infamous, well-respected, idolized award shows in Hollywood, the Kids' Choice Awards. Now, if that's not what you were expecting, you should really watch it. I actively voted in the Kids' Choice Awards as a child, maybe still do sometimes. I don't know if that's allowed. But if you do not know what the Kids' Choice Awards are, they are a network-wide award show for Nickelodeon where kids and viewers get to vote and whoever they vote for wins. People vote for their favorite actor in a series, favorite sci-fi series, and recently they've added a lot of like social media things like favorite blogger, favorite vlogger. Really fun awards for kids to vote for. But they are known for two things mainly, in my opinion. One, the really sick awards, which are these like blimp style that have the old Nickelodeon logo on it. And more importantly, and maybe more notoriously, the slime. It's time for slime. It is a staple of the Kids' Choice Awards. Anyone who is on stage is probably going to get covered in slime at some point. As a kid, I was watching it and I was always thinking like, what is that? It is like so pigmented and the texture is so specific. Like I, to this day, have not figured out what it is. So today, guess what we're doing? We are going to discover what is in Nickelodeon slime today. We are going to be doing a few test batches of it. I've already done a lot of research that I'm ready to share with you guys. And then I am going to be hosting my own mini tiny Kids Choice Awards that you guys helped me vote for on Instagram. So thank you all. If you guys don't follow Totally Trendy on Instagram, do it so you can be involved in videos like this one. Let me first share with you all the research that I found. There are so many articles covering this topic and they all say something different. But according to mentalfloss.com, the first batch was actually very toxic and was made with like latex paint and whatever, but that's because it wasn't being like used on a person or so they thought. When it came to filming, they realized that the director wanted the slime on a person and they were like, oh, we can't do that. So the slime is simply vanilla pudding and green food coloring. So that is the main one we are gonna roll with. But there's another one, of course, that we are also gonna test from people.com because they interviewed Mark Summers, who was a host of Double Dare and a lot of Nickelodeon shows. He says, there are all these recipes online that have nothing to do with what we used as real slime. It started off with vanilla pudding, applesauce, green food coloring, and a little oatmeal. So we are going to combine all of those things and try to make like an OG slime and see what happens. And of course, after we have finally cracked the secret recipe of the Nickelodeon slime, we get to host our own Kids' Choice Awards, so stay tuned for that. I have everything I think we're gonna need for this. First off, I'm going to make a ton of the vanilla pudding. We're gonna do the just green vanilla pudding, and then we're gonna throw in another batch with vanilla pudding, oatmeal, and applesauce, and see how that texture turns out. But let's get started. So for vanilla pudding, it's just milk and the mix. So that's gonna be super easy. So for each pack, you just add three cups of cold milk. I think I have enough milk for this. All right, here comes the montage. See, this is how quickly this pudding sets. Like this is already, already good to go. So I'm gonna save these until we figure out which slime is the best. This one is just gonna be the one with pudding and food coloring. And this one is gonna be the one where we add the oatmeal and applesauce. Okay, so it is now time to add these little food colorings that I got from Walmart. I got two, kind of a neon green and one more of a deep green, so we can really play with the color to try and get that like Nickelodeon slime green. All right, so I'm gonna start with kind of the neon, and because this is so light, I'm just gonna do very small amounts at a time. So I did get icing coloring instead of normal food coloring, which is why it's being really thick. I felt like this would be a better consistency. What? That tiny drop did this. That's the green we're going for. This is a little on the pale side, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more. 
Okay, so now it's time to add some applesauce and Quaker oats to see if we can get that OG slime. So I should probably measure this, but I'm not going to. <gasps> Already, that just looks super gross because it's just sitting in it. It almost looks like gelatin. Okay. That added a really interesting texture. I can see why they would want it to have like a really thick consistency. So I think the applesauce is true. It definitely made it a little more thicker and almost kind of looks like cake batter. Just a little bit chunkier. Okay, so I'm not ruling out applesauce. I thought it would look really weird, but that like really makes sense. Now this one, we'll see. Okay, so now this is gonna be interesting. All right, now this is definitely giving me the chunkiness that I didn't want. I like all of these ingredients, pudding, applesauce, oatmeal, but together, like I'm tempted to taste it. Okay, yeah, so this is definitely more textured. It looks like the older slime. The last thing we're gonna add to our like vintage slime is a little bit of baby shampoo. Here we go, I'm just gonna Okay, so I just did three little pumps. Oh, it smells like a baby. So that just made this not edible. That really just kind of ruined this vintage slime for me. This old version of slime just got a lot less appealing to me. That is so disappointing. I don't know how people couldn't tell it was oatmeal. Maybe my proportions are probably a little bit off but like the smell is so confusing. But I gotta say this is a pretty good consistency. It looks like the old photos of slime. Now that we have our vintage slime, it is time to cover it until it is ready to be put to use. And now let's make the slime that I think is gonna be the exact kind that is used today. Vanilla pudding and green food coloring. I think today it would just be pudding and food coloring because that's like the most simple thing. I feel like they can make very large batches of it, especially if they have that kind of deal with Jello where they just send them like bags of it. But yeah, so let's just mix that up and see if we agree that that consistency is like the closest to what they use today. This is quite the arm workout. Okay, so this green is pretty darn good. So I am going to go ahead and add the rest of our pudding mix because I think this is it. I definitely think the other one was too chunky and I think this one has more of that kind of like liquid texture that is really gonna give you kind of like the splatter moment. Okay, now that we have two really good greens and I think we have the absolute closest, we are gonna get to what they use today. It's time for the Kid Choice Awards. Hello and welcome. Welcome to the Totally Trendy Choice Awards. Thank you for joining us today. We are gonna be joined by some of your fan favorites, of course, because you voted for these people to win a Trendy Choice Award. We have four categories, including What's Up Guys for Best Intro, Favorite Nerfer, Dude, and favorite logo between Totally Trendy and Battle Universe. But first, a message from our sponsor, Swoon. Oh, they didn't? Swoon didn't sponsor this video? Oh, just the creator and owner of Swoon edits all the Totally Trendy videos and is a vital part of this production process and putting out awesome content for the audience? Yeah, that's good enough. Shout out to Swoon. But stick around because we are in for quite the show. Let's meet our nominees. And here comes Woodland Demars Woods. Woods, over here, please, please. How does it feel to be here tonight? Oh man, confused. Um, shocked. Yeah. Also, yeah, I don't know where I'm at right now. <laughs> yeah. The show is about to start soon, so you might want to head on inside. All right, thank Good you luck very tonight. Much, Sam. Oh my gosh, guys, he's here! It's Patrick Jones from Battle Universe! Thank you. It's so nice to meet it's you. It's so good to be here. Oh. Truly, truly. And you are nominated for Favorite Nerfer. How do you feel? I mean, it. Who's, who else would win that? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's, it's honestly just obvious. All right, well, all the best to you. Yeah, thanks for that. And guys, I think I see our final nominee, CJ. It's me. CJ from <laughs> Battle it's Universe me, as well. We have Thank the whole you. Battle Universe crew here. Thank you. It's so nice to see you. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> you are nominated for two awards tonight. Yeah. You're nominated for Favorite Logo and the Dude Award. Dude. The last award you're nominated for is one that I am also nominated for, the What's Up Guys Award for Best Intro. What is up, guys? All right, now let's get this show started, shall we? Wow! Woo! 
Now, one thing not all of our nominees know is at this award show, the winner gets a trophy, but they also get slime. And first off, we have the category of favorite nerfer. Now let's see our nominees on stage. Woodland, Demars, and Patrick Jones from Battle Universe. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> now, the audience voted and the audience decided. The winner of the favorite nerfer trendy choice awards is Woodland Demars. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Thank you so much. Yeah. Thanks so much. Gee whiz. A couple things I'd like to thank. Yeah! yeah! <laughs> it's so cold! <laughs> Congratulations on being the very first recipient of a Trendy Choice Award! Gee whiz, thank you so much! I can't wanna cry! Sorry Patrick, maybe next time. Up next we have the category of favorite logo between Battle Universe and yours truly, Totally Trendy. So let's get our other nominee up here, CJ from Battle Universe. It's me. Alright, I kind of feel weird announcing this myself. Alright, whoops. Oh, here's you know our co-host. I'm up here giving this award out, and uh, I've got to say... Do you want to read the results? Alright, so it's going to be uh, between Battle Universe and Totally Trendy. It's looking like Battle Universe coming in. Ooh! Congratulations! There we go! Thank you! Thank you so much! <laughs> and we're back with the award for Dude. After checking the results between CJ and Woods, um, it actually was not a close one whatsoever. It was almost unanimous. You guys voted the fan favorite, the man, the myth, the legend himself, who says Dude the most is Woodland and Mars. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, that's good, that's good. I'm so cold, this live is so cold. <laughs> this is the favorite intro, the what's up, what's up. This is the light on the S, by the way. What's up, guys? What's up, what's guys? Up, guys? The best intro, and the winner is... You know, Sam Totally Trendy, congratulations! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that went everywhere! <laughs> but this is a video that YouTube thinks you're really gonna like um, and this is one that I think you're really gonna like and don't forget to subscribe Wow slime is fun okay bye <laughs>